then I was uh, 16 years old and I was diving in Greece and I realized I came across more plastic bags than fish. Uh, so then I thought, well, why, why don't we just clean this up? And that's how it all started. So, um, so basically after I had that diving experience uh, in high school, uh, I had to do a, a science project and I chose this topic to really look into the problem itself and why everyone told me that it would be impossible uh, to clean up. Um, and then after a while I came up with this idea of, of using these natural ocean currents to do the, the work for us. Um, so basically in the, in the past people proposed to, to clean it up using, um, using vessels and nets. Uh, but that will take about 79,000 years and many tens of billions of dollars to, to clean up. Um, so then I wondered, well, these, this plastic isn't staying in one spot, it's actually moving around. So why would I go through the ocean if the ocean can go through me? Um, so then I came up with this passive system that exists out of these very long floating barriers, which is attached to the seabed and really allows the natural ocean currents to do the hard work for us concentrating the plastic first before we take it out. So it really acts like um, sort of an artificial coastline there where there is no coastline. And we've been able to show now with a single one of those systems de uh, deployed for 10 years, we can clean up half this great Pacific garbage patch.